Hello guys, this is Amit. So today we will be going to learn a new program based on arrays. So what we will be doing is, we will be finding the sum of the elements which will be entered by or given by the user. So let's begin. First of all, I will uh, write down the program, then I will explain. Let's begin with the header file. That is slash include by your stream dot x. Next thing is main on main will be open here. We need three variables. I guess four because one m which will be holding type. Then we need a, a array element, array variable, sorry, not element. And then we require one more variable that is sum. Let's initialize at zero. Then we need one more that is looping variable. This program will be done using for loop. In the next video, I'll be showing you the, some other loops like while, etc. and all. So first of all we have to print, give a message to user to enter the size. So he will be entering the size, the base, scene and n will be holding, that's documented. So n will be holding. Okay, so you should do documentation because it is important to the programmer, I mean other programmer, whoever sees your code and it should be done to all the steps so that if anyone, any new programmer uses, checks your code, he should be able to get what the program is about. So it's important to document. Next is to enter elements. Enter the elements. So here we need for loop here. What we need? Here we need for loop i is equal to 0 i is less than n i plus plus if there is no that is r of i ok this is move done so what loop for uh, inserting elements into array something okay so what we have to do now we have to find the sum that is for again we need loop i less than n i plus plus so here comes the loop sum plus which is equal to r of i that's it. Here you, you can you see how to print the sum. Give any require whatever you want the message as. Then just put up sum. So here the sum will be printed. So this you make it as a new because I am entering in the same line, so it should not get confused. However, it don't work without the braces also it will work. So how the program works, I'll explain in here. The first thing what we are doing here, we are we have an array element, a, sorry, a array variable which can hold more than exactly hundred elements in it. So but we are asking the user 
this can only hold 100 elements not more than that so here we are asking the user here we are asking the user to enter the size so if the if your user once you compile this program it will ask you enter the size so what i'll be entering now is 3 let's again so i enter the 3 so what array we have to enter 3 so let's draw an array that will be holding 0 1 2 so this is how the elements will be in array so what happens here is enter the elements when this will be printed the for loop starts so first of all i let me column here uh, but this is i so i is this let's again so first of all i is 0 now i is 0 so it will enter the loop so here is a condition which this our n was 3 so here it will validate is 0 less than 3 yes so it will enter the loop so this is only this statement will be executed right now that is same same in the sense it is asking the user to input so what it is asking the user to input is array of 0 i is 0 so ar of ar of 0 ar of 0 this thing so here what now we will enter let's say we will take 2 so we enter 2 so now ER of 0 will be 2 it will be holding 2 so next next thing that is after once the user inputted the value it will come back so here there is updation I will be accurate so now I is 1 now I is 1 so what will happen now is there is a we have to evaluate this that is 1 is less than 3 yes so then only it will enter the loop so what again same the, it is asking to enter the value that is here of 1 this 0 gone so 1 now here of 1 let us only I will enter again 3 so the same process takes place again there will be operation so operation it will be updated to 2 so again validation here 2 is less than 3 yes so here here of 2 that is uh, 4 so this uh, you can give any value here so uh, once you are given this is done because the next again it will update after 2 it will again update it will be updated to 3 it will be updated to 3 but here in the validation it fails because 3 is less than 3 it will it will be false so it, it will exit so this loop loop ends so here sorry loop ends there's some problem with this one second okay so let's write it long one second loop ends so this loop ends so now what we'll be doing is for again there is one more loop again the same process goes on so what this this statement will do this one this is nothing but this is nothing but it is executing one second let me rub this off there's no space in this page so it's what th this statement will do is it will the sum here sum plus is equal to ar of i means nothing but sum is equal to 
n plus pair of i so how this this thing is working is nothing but for in the first time we have initialized some of one so what it will be doing is now sum is equal to zero plus pair of here is a loop it will start from zero i start with from zero that is zero so what will be the answer sum will be holding now sum will be updated to zero plus pair of zero we have entered two do you remember pair of zero was entered as two so now zero plus the sum will be two right now so again the same thing goes on what again i will be updated and there will be validation here again it will get into the loop again r of 1 that means sum is equal to in place of 0 now sum is 2 so here sum will become 2 plus r of 1 so this will be 2 plus r of 1 what is r of 1 r of 1 was i guess we entered it as uh, 3 so it will be 2 plus 3 that will be 5 again the same process goes at last here uh, when i will be updated to 3 3 is less than 3 it will be false so it will execute uh, i mean it will exit this loop this and this loop and this will be printed that is see out here you can put any message whatever you want uh, so the sum sum will be Printed at last. I guess we we took uh, the variables as two, three, and four. So the sum will be nine. Yeah, that's it. Uh, this this is a program on uh, arrays of C plus plus. So in the next videos, I'll be taking some more program based on computer science okay thank you guys please do share like and subscribe